Today's video is about some of my recent blood work, the changes in the blood work, and what to attribute those changes to, and what that means for you, what you can do to try to get some improved blood work. So thanks for watching. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, been living with a transplant 18 years. And that transplant was never a good transplant. So I dedicated my life to kidney issues and helping people like you and myself. So I got some recent blood work back, okay? And it was a good blood work. My GFR was stable at 47. My creatinine was 1.6. Uh, my potassium was good at 4.6. My CO2, carbon dioxide was 28. Phosphorus was 2.6, so all good numbers, okay? But the one number that did change was that I went from 660 milligrams of protein to 300 milligrams of protein, a little bit more than half. Now, what do we attribute that to? What happened? What did I do? So about a week before my blood test, okay, I got a cold, I got sick, okay? It wasn't the virus, it was something else. Don't know what it was, but I got sick. And I wasn't eating or I wasn't eating as much, okay? I really cut down my calories. I really cut down the protein I was eating. And so I was still drinking a lot of water. And two days before my test, I mean, I felt fine. I, I could have started back on my regular diet, but I said, you know what, let me just stay on this diet I'm kind of on. It's a lower calorie, um, a lower protein, just less calories overall. So I stayed on it, I did my blood tests, and the protein, protein urea is cut more than half. That shows you that by reducing calories, if you can, if you can't afford it, not everybody can reduce their calories because you don't want to lose weight, you may be too thin already. But if you need to, you can reduce calories if you're, if you're okay with losing some weight. Also shows that lowering the protein, when I took the, was had a really low protein diet, it cut proteinuria in half. So we know that lower protein diets do lower proteinuria. It varies for everyone, but you can always do a test to see. You can always say, hey, I got, you know, my next blood work's in a month. And go on a low protein diet or take out sodium or do something to test it so you can see what the before and after results are. If you're a larger person, then losing weight will absolutely help your kidney. Okay? Even if you don't do it um, in the greatest way, we do recommend a healthy way, but it's still beneficial. So just a little kind of experiment I did, fell into, wanted to show you the difference, the results, you know, what could happen when you lower calorie intake or when you lower protein intake, how you may get some improvement in protein urea, which overall is a wonderful thing because that means you have better kidney function. So as far as my diet, um, I'll stay on for a little bit. You know, we'll see. We'll see how things go, how I feel, you know, but I will definitely always be on some type of healthy kidney friendly diet because that's what works to keep your kidneys functioning healthy for as long as possible. So thanks for watching everybody to your best kidney health.